Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to try my best and give you a picture, an idea of just what XRP does and how it makes the world interoperable. A lot of people are asking me, why wouldn't they just use Quant? Why wouldn't they just use Chainlink? Well, let me tell you, this is not just bringing blockchains together. This is exchanging assets to assets, exchanging certain assets and exchanging them into another asset so you can get paid in whatever asset or denomination you want. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Vilvis. Thank you for joining me today. This channel is focused on enterprise grade distributed ledger technology. This is my passion, my hobby, and my career. Stick around to the end of the video to see how I can help you make that your career as well. Now, yesterday was very fascinating. I know a lot of people are covering this video, but I just thought it was so good. And this is what it looks like when somebody from the traditional crypto world, you know, the Web3 anarchist world is coming into this real regulated, mature side of the market. You'll see how they are slowly starting to turn and realize what is going on behind the scenes. What is happening behind all these 1700 NDA contracts that are non-disclosure agreements, right? Let's Here's the list of Bob all Baird. Ripple partnerships. You can, of course, see all these different. Man, this is <laughs> this is crazy. But these are all. There's SBI Holdings right there. Just bank after bank after bank after bank. I mean, there it is, guys. This is and that's just. This is probably just what is in, you know, the coffer right now versus the deals that they're probably working today to start to execute this even more. So it's is this. Yeah, so XRP drops shout out saying this is crazy bank after bank after bank. Paul Barron's reaction when he looks at just a fraction of Ripple's partnerships. Anyone who deals with Ripple and XRP will inevitably ask them ask themselves, is this a sleeping giant that could be waiting for an explosion? I think yes. Honestly, this is the biggest use case for cryptocurrency is the interoperability. And that is what we are about to get into now. That interoperability requires liquidity. It requires deep, deep, deep liquidity, depth of market, a robust ecosystem for DeFi, borrowing and lending. And that is exactly what XRP is now. Smoke yesterday asked, has anyone seen a demo of how stable coins will actually work on the XRP ledger? And then, you know, uh, this is he, he was starting off, right? He he posted this early in the day. And then later on in the day, we started to get these bombs of these awesome, awesome videos showing the XRP ledger being interoperable with other block or not other blockchains, but payment system. Now, check this out. This says video demonstration of how stable coins can be transacted on the XRP ledger and even showcase interoperability with apps like PayPal and Zelle without the need of a traditional financial institution. Check this it's like out. It's like them for buying and selling stable coins. It's a decentralized platform that facilitates di direct transactions between individuals looking to exchange stable digital assets, such as stable coins without the need for intermediaries like banks or traditional financial institutions. So this is a peer-to-peer -peer system. This is the app where you log in and place a new offer with the method, amount, fee, and message to the buyer. You can sell all your offers and you can see them too in these uh, slides. In the other side, you can take an offer and pay for it like, like we can see you can take it and pay for it that's it it's a peer-to-peer -peer. it is simple and it in, in it gets done in minutes the code the, uh, talks two different things the xrp ledger and the ln pay system first the code helps to place the offer and then the code helps to take the offer so this is a, a helper for uh, to uh, to deal with the stable coins and paying peer to peer invoices. It's the digital toolbox that makes sure everything works smoothly. Thank you. What an amazing demonstration on how stable coins can be transacted on the XRP ledger and the interoperability of these payment apps. Now check this out. During that video you see here 
where uh, obviously the XRP ledger is a part of this, right? It's the, what's bringing the interoperability. Uh, and then over here, you see the actual payment app from Zelle and PayPal, Alice using PayPal, uh, Halasalato using the Zelle app. Then, uh, you know, as I was looking into this with, uh, well, as he was posting this, I had to add, you know, for some people didn't really understand what it sent, what it means. I said, imagine sending a cash app to a Zelle, sending a Zelle to a PayPal, all interoperable. Plus, when this is tokenized bank deposits, I'll be able to send you the amount of various other forms of asset. Do you need $10? I'll send you $10 worth of Apple stock. The Apple stock will go through XRP Ledger and you'll get $10. I'll have $10 less Apple stock than I had previously. So that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about interoperability between fintechs around the board, between banks around the board. That is what makes XRP Ledger different from Quant, different from Chainlink, these other bridge chains that are just making the lego pieces fit together now that is a very important aspect you do need these legos to fit together but when you build one lego kingdom and there's another lego kingdom on the other side of the world how are you going to interoperate their assets right when when a bank of america is accepting a cash app coming from a jp morgan client but the jp morgan client is using a cash app from their jpm coin which is a tokenized deposit that tokenized deposit is not going to go into Bank of America. Bank of America is not going to hold a JPM coin. They want a Bank of America coin. That is when the liquidity hub provider, the financial service provider, will use XRP to make these interoperable. So when the uh, JPM coin gets sent through the cash app, it'll be sent through a liquidity meta, uh, medico hub. And that XRP will turn it into a Bank of America coin. The Bank of America coin guide that's using his cash app will receive the Bank of America coin and not even know it that it'll be a digital Bank of America coin and it'll just show up in his account as a dollar. So that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about a hyper connected world, a hyper interoperable world from assets to currencies to tokenized uh, anything. Right. That is why XRP, I believe, is the biggest lucrative opportunity in crypto history. And uh, I'm glad to be here with all of you. We are very, very, very early in the game. Now, moving on. Smoke more from this. The interoperability between the XRP ledger, as you see here, these guys have been planning this. They already understood what is going on. Right. The vision for Ripple's app network. You see you got Alipay over here, PayPal, Swift, ACH. Now you could put any any network in here right visa mastercard when they're you know visa and mastercard are working on tokenizing their deposit or tokenizing their currencies right now so i mean this has been in the works for a long time the tech stack as you see here domestic payments settlement infrastructure right here running on ripple uh ach clearinghouse nacha bank of america merrill lynch paypal so this is what we're talking about we're not talking about just interoperability between chains right i don't just want to move xrp onto another chain or use uh the specific use case of an ethereum smart contract with an xrp settlement or an x or a ripple stablecoin no what we're talking about here is interoperability of the exchange of assets right that's the interledger protocol that is insane technology Hats off to the Ripple team. They are ahead of the game. They're always been ahead of the game. Anytime you dive deep into these documents, you'll realize that Ripple is 10 years ahead of everyone. And that is why they are the leaders of this space right now. All right. So Emi, Yoshi, uh, Emi Yoshikawa, hot off the press from Korea, Infinite Block, a, a, a virtual asset service provider, licensed custody company in South Korea, is now running a validator on the XRP ledger. Great to see more and more institutions, grade validators are participating in the XRPL ecosystem from Asia. And guys, we've said it a million times. Asia loves XRP. From Catalyze Research, Korean virtual, virtual asset service provider Infinite Block joins XRP ledger validator. Infinite Block is a Korean virtual asset service provider led by the CEO Jung Go Ti Tae announced on 13th on the 13th of this month that is participating as a validator in the XRPL right the participation is expected to enable stable expansion of the XRPL ecosystem within Korea's unique regulatory environment I think we can expect more and more and more announcements coming out of this right not only just is there a uh, a ridiculous there's the list of, of banks, all right? ripple partnerships you can, of course, see all these different, man, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. But these are all, there's SBI Holdings right there, just bank after bank after bank after bank.
not only is there bank after bank after bank after bank, but you are seeing institutions at large get heavily focused on the XRP ledger. Why? Because it is used as a specific use case and it is a master at that use case. So not only supply chain finance, not only repo market liquidity, not only interoperability between uh, apps, but interoperability between banks, interoperability between CBDCs of all different nations, guys. We are witnessing the creation and the manifestation of the internet of value a hyper connected world that is going to link asset to asset right so now this is a lot bigger than just a regular blockchain i love blockchain i love dlt but xrpl there's a reason it's my biggest holding we're going to continue on with this post so infinite block is a virtual asset custody company founded by Korea's leading regulatory and financial experts. It was only the only company to pass the evaluation among 50 companies that applied for the VAS, VASP license in 2023. So look, the only company to pass the evaluation among 50. Guys, this is not going to be an easy feat. I tell it, I said it time and time again. Regulations is going to set the bar high and it's going to set the bar on fire. Just wait till you see what companies make it and what companies don't. When I look and I evaluate and I do my due diligence on a company, we are looking at companies that can meet those regulatory requirements first. That is first and foremost. If they can't do that, we're not even looking at it. All right. We're not looking at it, all right? XRPL has been an open source decentralized protocol since 2012, processing over 2.5 billion transactions, surpassing Ethereum. Key contributors to the XRPL ecosystem include Ripple, XBR, XRPL Foundation, XPAR, XRPL Labs. The native token of the protocol, XRP, currently ranks seventh in global virtual asset market capitalization. And I have to say something real quick right here when we're talking about this. Not only is it ranked number seven, it has been ranked number two, okay? But we are in a world of haters that hate the XRP. Why? Because they started off in the crypto ecosystem as some type of hippie anarchist movement. Guys, that is not how things are done. That is not how you change the world. That is not how you change the system. If you want to change the system, you must do it from within. The same t the same way that Jesus taught how to change somebody. The, the, the kingdom of heaven is not coming from outside. It's coming from within. Okay. Korea has an international level blockchain regulatory framework that strictly adheres to regulations such as the travel rule and anti-money laundering. Supporting a safe environment for projects and investors. The participation of the VASP license holder, that means Korea's stringent regulatory requirements, such as an XRPO validator, is expected to facilitate domestic and international expansion of the XRPL builders in a regulated and compliant manner. Now, Infinite Block plans to pursue stable governance, participation, XRPL ecosystem expansion, and provision of the XRPL and XRP services to corporations based on domestic and international regulatory compliance through the participation of an XRPL validator. CEO uh, Jung Gute of Infinite Block stated, as a fully regulated custodial business operator, we will provide blockchain regulatory support infrastructure suitable for the institutional character Characteristics of the Korean virtual asset industry, we will contribute not only to user protection, but also to enhance the reliability of XRPL based on through regulatory compliance, both domestically and internationally. Now, if you want to read this, there is a website link. You can go to the website, but you see it here, the validator announcements, not only SBI, but now we have infinite block and many, many more guys. Institutions are here. Say it with me. Institutions are here. You are in the right place at the right time. And guess what? You are about to be struck with the train. The train cannot stop. The train is in motion. And if you're not on it, you will get left behind. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said that this is my passion and my career, right? How can I help you guys make it your career? All right, look, check this out. People are always talking about why is XRP not moving? Why, 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 why? I'm not making any money. Guys, if you're broke and you are just sitting around waiting on XRP to be your lottery ticket, you're in the you're doing the wrong thing. You need to take your time to learn, study, research, do the due diligence, learn how to trade, right? I have eight different ways that I make money from the market. Number one, long-term crypto portfolio, right? That's an overall big, big bag that's going to make me generational wealth. Now, during the year when the market is overvalued and people are just pumping for no reason, I will prune those long-term profits when overvalued, making a profit for myself. Now, number three, the four-year bull cycle bag, I plan on selling, you know, 20 to 30% of 
a, a good sized bag for that, I will roll it over into my swing trading account and the AMM positions, right? So three, four, five ways of making money. Number six, long-term equity portfolio. Guys, Ripple and XRP is the not only way to make money. There are other companies out here utilizing this technology and that are going to make and expand over time. Companies like Nubank, right? We're building long-term equity in these companies that are utilizing this technology because we understand, like Brad Garlinghouse said, the tailwind of, of innovation that is going to happen off the end of this now. In the stocks, if you know how to do fundamental por uh, fundamental analysis, you will know when the stock market is overvalued and you can prune profits when overvalued. Not only that, you can place options trading, leap options, six month, three month, one year. You can make a lot of money from this market, but you have to know it inside and out. If you don't know it inside and out, you don't have the time to know it inside and out. I do run a private uh, Patreon that will evolve into our very own social media app that I record my study sessions. They're about 30 minutes. They're easy to digest. You can print out the document with me, read along, highlight, share on X your findings, and be with a community of like-minded individuals that are taking this opportunity by the horns and we are moving into the future we're going to create generational wealth for our family and we're also going to help change the world and promote this new technology that is going to make the world a better place ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you that link is down below in the bio for the private patreon uh but like i said that private Patreon, the overall view for that is it will become our very own social media app in the future, and uh, we will have a, a very robust community. And honestly, to me, it's going to be a robust depth of, uh, of, of understanding, and it will become a deal flow opportunity. There's going to be deals and deals and deals left and right in that community. So come join us there. Uh, there is a free side where you can watch the free video to get the full understanding of what I'm talking about when I say that this is going to become its own social media app in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this content, please drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.